we're sitting here having a nice little chat again. So, hey, just so you know, I'm still Gino D. This is HRH TV, and welcome on this episode. Teresa's. Are you happy now? Yeah. Good. Sure? Yeah. Okay, good. So the last time we did this was about five and a half, six years ago when you got, when you played Hammerfest here before. And as you were saying is, is you haven't been very active in the UK, mm. but you have been very active in Europe. What, what have you been getting up to in Europe? Um, what have we been doing? Uh, the last <laughs> thing we did was, was we did a pretty big Finnish tour in our home country actually, where we haven't really toured that much. Yeah. Because we've always been busy elsewhere. So we did a pretty extensive Finnish tour in December, November, December last year. Uh, and yeah, we've been touring the mainland, the, the states and it's a bit here and there. Once, once you're kind of touring, how you say, your touring map grows to cover most of the world. We yeah. did a Latin American yeah. tour last fall as well. S then, then it kind of turns out that once you've done the whole circle, you could start over from, uh, from the first one again. So new album? In the works, In still the works. a very early, early steps but yeah well when you say early steps have you written a song yet no not that <laughs> but you have to understand that for us the the whole songwriting process is a bit upside down because we kind of start out like i don't know some kind of novelist who wants to write a book and first goes out and travels the world and makes a lot of notes and reads up a lot so that's yeah. kind of where our album starts and and then that takes more time and then once that's kind of when the background work is well done then it's kind of a smooth ride from there yeah. again this one will have a particular theme involved in it which is why it takes so much time to do research so you've got accurate facts and all the yeah. rest of it any giveaways on what this one's going to be dealing with uh unfortunately not because there's also this side to it that they might change <laughs> so if i tell you something now <laughs> and it develops to a different direction then mm -hmm. then it's a bit stupid so so, it, so <laughs> you'll so have to wait uh, for I, I was gonna say so sorry guys but you'll just have to wait again but i'm sure it'll be fine when it when it does get out but are we looking within the next year or you know are we looking at 18 months to to, to actually do this or are we or you don't know yet i don't yeah. know we don't really what we decided one year ago was that we're not gonna rush an album because we all know that you don't really pay your rent with with albums anymore it's it's all in the touring so you know from a financial career perspective the best thing to do is just push out albums and keep you on the road but for us it's kind of we want to make an album that's meaningful and right. and it's good and if it eats up on our momentum or whatever a little bit and and you know means that we have to we end up being under the radar for for some months or years or whatever it takes, it's it's still, you know, wor worth it or it's going to be good. So, so we're not like really, really keen on on looking at at a band from a only a kind of business career perspective. Even if our, our a manager would probably yeah. disagree, but but for us, it's still about the music and and well, no, you know a, enjoying what you do. Here. But, but I mean, th there is that artistic license that says, you know, if you want to do it that way, then hopefully your fans hang on and, you know, and w w when it does arrive. Uh, and that's where, you know, a lot of times where bands will go through that process where it is that development of the idea. And then by the time it actually hits, there's, they've either got disinterested in it or they're screaming, oh, well, you should have done it like you did that album previously. Mm -hmm. Um, so no, no, I'm absolutely cool with that because you guys do take an interesting twist on it lyrically, you know, and, and the way you, you do put your albums together. So I'm definitely going to wait for that one. Any surprises for the for, for the people watching out there tonight? Is it, uh, it going to just be a straight up show that you guys have been running, you know, all over the world for the last year, or have you changed it up just a little bit? Well, it's, uh, today we just went to see the stage. Yeah. It's kind of smaller show today since there's like we have like super big backdrops and all that shit that yeah. doesn't fit today at all. Yeah. So we have to kind of make it really intensive and right. Just so it's it's hard. Good. Okay. So uh, well, it's going to be very back to the basics in a way because you can't rely on your big stage setup or anything like that. So it's I, I know the hall is going to be mm -hmm. packed and uh, it's going to be very intense and 
we always had great shows in the UK, but we never really, you asked about, uh, is it going to be like the standard show we run for the last years yeah. all across? We never really actually have a standard show to the point where the band and the crew and everybody are getting very pissed off 45 minutes before stage time because they don't have a set list at that point yet. And it come, everything comes together very last minute yeah. and kind of based on, on the last moment yeah. vibe. And that's, that's how I like it, at least, that, that we don't have a routine. It kind of keeps everyone... I like to keep everybody on their toes a bit. And, and, and you have to expect that everybody who plays in the band can at any point yeah, play this or that he's song. Like, he's, he kind of has that expression, it's like, I wish the hell he would not do that. <laughs> One time, just, you know, just, just a, a totally out of character for, for yourself, I think what you should do is give him an organizational moment and say, here you go, here's a one-off, here's a full set list, and watch them, you know. They'll, you, you'll probably lose the band because they'll die of a heart attack when you do it. He'd probably get very confused. Then. <laughs> He'd have time to... to no one would believe that set list, you know, it's like, yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, you know, nice, nice dream. <laughs> no, th that's good. Well, I like it. Says, anything you want to say to your fans out there? Because they have been patient and loyal, and they are pretty hardcore. Absolutely. It's, uh, what is it, our third third time at this yeah. we're getting starting to be veterans of of uk holiday what you call these places holiday holiday parks Caravan. holiday parks and uh, yeah so this is the third time and uh, we already know the drill and after we're done with the show we'll probably join the fun with the mini golf <laughs> 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 and what, what, what you do yeah. so yeah I'll be excited. Cool. it's great to be back here yeah. Cheers. So, on that note, all I can say is, is I'm still Gino D. This has been HRH TV, and this is still Terrasus. 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 <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs>